Okay. Engine spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding Nova? We double checked the it's leakage concerns this morning. It's amazing to think that we're standing on the same planetary body where humankind first entered into space. No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. We've come a long it's a way clean shot then. from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. No tak. Muszę na statek wrócić. Lecimy do NASA.
<laughs> like touching down on a cloud. Your landing skills never cease to increase. Jedna wielka pustynia. <laughs> Unless I'm mistaken, that's one of the launch towers used during the evacuation of the Earth. I can't even imagine the chaos. likely way into the NASA facility would be via an elevator shaft taking us straight down. Hmm, hopefully the system is still in operation. Sell some of your junk. Occupants of this colony ship found alternate transportation to evacuate the Earth before it was too late. Hmm. Na ciekawe, ciekawe.
clear the gantry was in loading position. I wonder what prevented this particular colony ship from lifting off. Ciekawe, nic nie ważę, ale, za... ale nie chcę się to zbierać. The lift system seems to be completely offline. We should search for a way to restore the power and get it back into operation. like it was some type of crew preparation area probably that i have something i need to discuss with you no, I'm so, so. forgive me for pulling you aside again but well there's so much to process right now the emissary the hunter the unity an entire multiverse i can't even begin to wrap my head around it all I don't know where to begin. The fact that we are the origin of the Starborn. Humans literally reborn by entering the Unity. The same, yet different. <sighs> it's unbelievable. I feel like most of the knowledge we've amassed in the last few centuries about the universe has just been made obsolete. Yes, that's exactly right. Humans are clearly a victim of their own success. We've been pushing further and further outwards from our home, when we should have spent more time being prepared for the consequences. Our current problem relates closely to the nature of humans as a species. This rushed curiosity has led us to enter the Unity and become Starborn. But it has made a difference. Here we are, caught in the middle of some sort of needlessly violent crusade between the Hunter and the Emissary. You'd think that a technologically advanced society would have evolved past petty squabbling over something like the artifacts. It almost makes me wonder if entering the Unity has done them more harm than good. No, no, that's not it at all. When you pass into whatever lies beyond, we don't know what will become of you. Will you remember your life as you knew it? Will the hunger to collect the artifacts consume your life like it's clearly consumed the Starborn? I'm just as curious to find out what's on the other side as well. But that's not the point. As the chair of Constellation, I want all of us to have this opportunity to explore the Unity. It would be the pinnacle exploration of our lives. However, 
After we enter the Unity, we'll likely... evolve. You and I, as we stand here right now, will essentially cease to exist. You're a respected colleague, and I wouldn't want to lose you. I know. Damn it. I know. Listen. I realize nothing that I say is ever going to change your mind or diminish the enticement of this incredible opportunity. All I ask is that you research the facts before you blindly stumble off into the unknown. Thank you. Well, I suppose I've ruined the moment again, haven't I? <laughs> I'm getting quite good at that lately. I'll let you get back to whatever you were doing. Just think what we discussed. I know I will. Komputer by nas przyniósł. Tu dużo sportowe. Pamiętajcie, że końcowa kontrola parametrów życiowych oraz zabezpieczeń skafandrów jest kluczowa. Tak wiele osiągnęliśmy pod względem dopuszczalnych wartości. Tak, liczba osób z pozwoleniem na straty jest wiele większa niż kiedyś, ale ich życie nadal leży w naszych rękach. Wiem, że krąży plotka odwołania pełnego startu, ale niech to nie będzie nasza wina. Za każdym razem zakładajcie, że do niego dojdzie. To wasz profesjonalizm czyni podróże kosmiczne odrobinę bezpieczniejszymi, a bezpieczeństwa potrzebuje jak najwięcej. Uzyskaj dostęp do logu w stacji. Byłka z Marsa. Dr. Victor Isa comes with two members of the military. Everything they have brought back is under wraps. What could a theoretical physicist need with a sample from Mars? Station log. Dr. Judith Tatien. I have been trying to cozy up to Dr. Isa, Victor, to see what is going on. His team has completely commandeered one of the labs with those two military hand wraps, checking who comes in and out. I joked that maybe he found a little gray man who was doing an autopsy, and he grew very pale. Two days later, he sends me a request asking for more information on my background in material science, metallurgical engineering. Oh, we have a meeting tomorrow. I... I think I'm being invited into the lab. Station log. Dr. Judith Satien. I have... Never been so nervous since I defended my dissertation. Four hours talking to Victor and his team about theoretical metals, atomic bonding, even a half hour divergence into magnetism that I'm pretty sure was just to throw me off the trail of what we were actually talking about. Then I got to see the lab. I, I don't know how much I should say, but the periodic table just got thrown out the window. Hmm. Some of the artifacts here are from the earliest years of NASA. 
Oh, what a shame all of this was left behind to deteriorate. Zawsze opuszczamy Ziemię. W roku 2150 naukowcy po raz pierwszy przewidzieli zniszczenie naszej ukochanej Ziemi, zjawisko atmosferyczne polegające na wydostaniu się powietrza poza grawitację Ziemi oznaczało zagrożenie wszelkiego życia. Pracowano, że zagłada nastąpi w ciągu 50 lat. NASA i inne światowe agencje kosmiczne miały czas na opracowanie planu migracji ludzkości oraz ustalenie jej od pewnej zagłady. Wytyczono kierunek ku gwiazdom. Częściowo dzięki opracowaniu napędu grawitonowego ludzkość miała przetrwać.
Jeszcze da mi się otworzyć. Trudny. Pójdziemy dalej. 